Good morning, it's Don Steele. We've been talking about some of the principles of the Steel Balls program. Step one to becoming the man women want is to dress for success with women. Step two is to learn to read her body language and send your own body language. This is step three, asserting yourself. This is the only book out there besides mine that actually has concrete steps and techniques to help you. When I say no, I feel guilty. Get it on Amazon today. A used copy is perfectly fine. Start out by reading a bill of assertive rights right there in the front, right under the cover. Let me go through them with you. I, can te I teach this whole book in four hours in my workshops because I, I started doing this for Brandon in 1977. Uh, a lot of people who come to therapy are there because they don't have the life skills needed to cope with the world. They're not crazy. They just don't know how to do things. Assert, asserting yourself is one of the biggest skills you can actually learn how to do and change your life with it. And men need to be assertive because in our society, the man has to go first. I wish it was the other way around because life would be so much easier because if she said, would you like to come over to my house? The answer would be yes. I'll be right there. <laughs> Assert yourself, darling, and ask me anything. Where were we? A bill of assertive rights. Now, you may not know this, but you have 10 rights about being assertive. Let me say one more thing before we get into this. You were born assertive. Your parents beat it out of you, shamed it out of you, and manipulated you out of it, made you feel guilty, okay? Parents, preachers, professors, and politicians are behind your ability, inability to assert yourself. Parents, preachers, professors, and politicians. Those are the people who have made you into a manipulative lump. You were born assertive. Hey, change my fucking diaper, okay? I'm hungry, where's my goddamn bottle? Pick me up, somebody. I'm lonely. You asserted yourself, and you kept asserting yourself until he helped you. Okay, That's what you're going to learn with this book. You're going to learn to be assertive all over again. Okay, where the hell was I before I got on the sidetracks? Number one, you have the right to judge your behavior, thoughts, and emotions, and to take the responsibility for their initiation and consequences upon yourself. What that means is, you're the judge of yourself. You decide what's right, what's wrong. You decide if you're a good person or a bad person. You don't listen to the rest of the goddamn idiots. Number two, you have the right to offer no reasons or excuses for justifying your behavior. Why did you do that? I don't know. I felt like it. You have the right to judge if you're responsible for finding solutions to other people's problems. Classic. Mr. White, you're holding up that whole line of people back there. Quit complaining. Come back tomorrow when the boss is here. No, I want my money now. Give me my money back. This is a piece of crap. Those people are your problem, not my problem. I'm not here to solve your problems. I want my money back. That's being assertive. You have the right to change your mind. Whoa, now there's a big one. <laughs> you, you said you were a Raiders fan. Well, it wasn't until they hired that fucking Gruden. Now I'm not a Raiders fan anymore. You can't change your mind. I just did. <laughs> you have a right to change your mind. I'm going to be a Raiders fan whether they have that dumb shit or not. Seven more miserable years of that prick. You have a right to make mistakes and be responsible for them. Of course you're responsible for them. You have a right to make mistakes. Oh, don't do that. You might make a mistake. Look, you can't learn anything unless you make a mistake. I've been teaching guys that since I started this in 1987. The only way you learn is by making a mistake. You can't ride a bicycle unless you fall down. You can't ski unless you fall down. You can't skateboard unless you fall down. Okay, you got to make mistakes. You can't date until you fall down. You got to learn, make mistakes to learn how to date, to learn how to do anything. 
You have a right to make the mistakes and go out there and make them. That's how you learn. Number six, you have a right to say, I don't know. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> the other one is, what do you want me to say? I don't know. You have a right to say, I don't know, because you don't know and you don't have to know. You have a right to be independent of the goodwill of others before coping with them. Oh, don't do that. They, they might get upset. She might cry. <laughs> You're right. She might. <laughs> but I don't care. I want my money back. Or I don't want those people coming over to my house anymore. I don't care if it upsets them. I don't need their goodwill. I don't want their goodwill. It's not important. You have the right to be illogical in making decisions. Yeah, I got this one a lot. You don't need a car with that much horsepower. <laughs> You're right. I don't need a car with that much horsepower. And it's not logical. I want one with that much horsepower and I'm going to get one. <laughs> Number nine, you have the right to say, I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? I explained it twice. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. You have a right to not understand. You have a right to say you don't understand. Then my number 10, my favorite, you have a right to say, I don't care. And you have a right to not care. That's even more important. You don't have to care about all those starving children in Ethiopia and all those horrible, whatever they are they whining about next. If you don't care, you don't care. Okay, now let's go to the back of the book where we learn, where we have short versions short descriptions of the skills you're going to learn.